This episode of Techzilla Bytes is brought to you by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Leave your mark. Toyota, let's go places. Hey guys, I'm Shannon Morse here from CES 2015, and I'm over here with Matt, who's not only an engineer, but he's also in charge of all the builders, all the guys in charge of this Toyota machine, this awesome car. So I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Now, is this something new, or has this, has this kind of scientific information been available for a long time, and we just figured out how to put it in cars? The very basic physics has been around since the 1800s with uh, Andrew Grove who kind of uh, pioneered the very early chemical cells or electrochemical cells, but they did not really become practical from a, an automotive standpoint until the 90s. Okay. But even prior to that, uh, fuel cells were used for um, electro electric power and for water generation as part of the Apollo and the uh, space shuttle programs. Oh. So we actually used yeah. them in space for many years. Now speaking of the early 90s, I also know that Toyota was researching FCVs way back in the day, in the early 90s when I was just a little baby. But uh, what was it that it actually inspired Toyota to create this car now and actually put something on the market now in 2015? So we actually started the uh, the Prius hybrid development as mm -hmm. well as the fuel cell uh, development at around the same time. Okay. And it's just that the Prius uh, technology was able to be developed first just because of the level of development that was necessary yeah. at that point. That was kind of an incremental step. And so since the 90s we've been developing a lot of the core technologies in the fuel cell and the fuel cell system and also oh. the tank system that would be used um, to, to integrate a complete package. And only recently have we been able to basically pioneer a, a series of advances that have brought the cost down. Ah, so yeah. with this, Lowering the cost. Lowering Makes the sense. Cost. And so what this, this vehicle kind of um, symbolizes is a, is a significant cost reduction in the technology uh, to be able to allow fuel cells in a practical way. Now I know a lot of that also has to do with the infrastructure too because there's going to be a we're going to have the need for hydrogen refueling stations too. Um, with hydrogen refueling stations, are we using the the steam repowering? Is that how it's how it's happening, or how is the fuel coming into the car? Sure. So, um, it, it, in general, in North America uh, and in Europe. Uh, the largest uh, infrastructure today for hydrogen for commercial and industrial purposes yeah. is by natural gas steam reformation. Ah. A, lot of a lot of hydrogen today, a significant amount, is actually used to make gasoline. It's actually part of the desulfurization process. So the lowest cost uh, pathway in the near term is envisioned by using natural gas in the same way. And there's actually, uh, you can cut the carbon output by about half based on studies that have been done oh, wow. compared to the, the amount of carbon that comes out via gasoline. So just by going to natural gas, even yeah. though it's a hydrocarbon, you're able to have a lower carbon footprint as well as also awesome. having a better way to manage pollution. I'm kind of a hippie, so I, I like hearing that. <laughs> now also, uh, electricity takes like half an hour to refuel a car mm -hmm. or more. So how is this while only taking three minutes? Sure. So. Uh, Basically, it's because we're uh, just charging a cylinder with, with hydrogen gas. And so that process can go very fast as long as we keep the hydrogen going into the car cool. So it's a fundamental difference from charging a battery yeah. where you have, you're limited by the electrochemical yep. rates. Ohm's law. Right. <laughs> uh, inside, the, inside the cell of, of, it, of it taking a charge. Exactly. So it's, it allows you to, to transfer a lot more energy uh, over a short amount of time by, by being, be, being able to use hydrogen. Going back onto the infrastructure aspect, um, you know, the, the build-out of the vehicles is going to go commensurate with the build-out of the infrastructure. Right. And that's starting uh, in, in California, other parts of North America, as well as in Europe and in Japan. Um, even though right now it's looked at uh, natural gas will be the kind of the lowest cost aspect, yeah. there are lots of ways to get hydrogen from renewables and from other processes such as biogas, uh, biomass uh, gasification. And so as more renewables come online, we have more volume we expect also to be able to have these other sources to be able to, to use the power of the car. Now another thing you guys mentioned during the press event was the fact that you can turn this car into a generator for your house. Mm -hmm. Say if the power goes out and you're, you're in the snowpocalypse of D DC like I was. This would have come in handy back then. How does that work? Um, so basically the uh, just like a Toyota Prius, the high voltage bus is a DC bus. So oh. it's direct current. And so the fuel cell and the high voltage battery are all connected on that bus with the, with the traction motor. 
What we've done is we have a DC power out capability with a Chatamo connector, same uh, type of uh, charging connectors that are used to power the car or yeah. to charge the car for electric vehicles. Uh, for example, a Toyota IQ EV uses a Chatamo interface. This is a standardized interface. We have the same type of interface in the trunk of the car. And then we take that power out into an inverter, and that inverter has a series of AC outlets on that, and we can do a vehicle to load the same way <laughs> like a gasoline generator would, or and in the same way you can connect it to your home via you know, special wow. cable. Okay, that's awesome. I might need one for my zombie apocalypse kit. <laughs> I'll stick my go bag in the back. Thank you again so much, Matt. I'm Shannon Morse. See you later. This episode of Techzilla Bytes is brought to you by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Leave your mark. Toyota, let's go places.